The following program contains language and situations of an adult nature. Some material may not be appropriate for young viewers. Reading comic books, there's a lot of cool things to see. But sometimes there's some really inappropriate stuff in comic books. Or at least they are if you have a dirty mind. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Jumpman, coming back at you with another little video. And can you believe it's time for another video? And what are we going to do today? We're going to look at inappropriate comic book panels from old comic books. Now, most of these are taken out of context, so they're probably not as dirty as they sound. But if you have a sick mind like me, you're going to see something perverted and dirty in it. It just makes it a lot more fun. And let's be honest, these people writing the comic books, they probably saw it too and probably kind of snuck it in, especially back there with the comic book code and everything. They probably liked thinking they was getting one past everybody. So let's take a look at these. Oh, one thing. If you're one of those easy offended people, you might not like this video. So watch another video and just skip this one. Here we go. It's a Batman. This is a Batman and Robin one right here. And what does it say? Robin. Thanks. Woo, my knees are still wobbly. They're coming out of my closet. What were they doing? What are they doing? Oh, I guess now I know why Batman calls him the boy wonder now. Oh, that's just that's just weird. How about this one right here? Superman. Uh, now's my chance. I'll use this heavy rope from among the souvenirs and tie up Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy Olsen, you're about to get molested. What's going on here? Superman. Why is he why is Jimmy dressed like Superman? I don't trust a man that can see through another man's clothing. I just I just don't never trust that. How about another Superman one here? Here we go. Next up, Gay City. <sighs> he should have went to Gay City before he's tried to tie up and molest Jimmy. That's what I think anyway. Oh, another Superman. Superman is a dirty bird. Let's see. This will hurt me more than hurts you, son. Punish me, Daddy. I deserve it. Now, there's no way. No way. Whoever wrote that didn't didn't know that was going to sound dirty reading it. <sighs> Punish me, daddy. I deserve it. <sighs> Superman's getting a spanking. Well, how about this one right here from the Archie comics? Wholesome. Wholesome. How can it be bad? I'll ask him, Betty, but he's on cloud nine with his head in my lap. I can't get through to him. What? Says Betty on the phone. And there's Archie with his head in her lap. Now, how does it sound to Betty on the phone? Betty's just hearing, hey, he's in cloud nine. His head's in my lap. There's no, they, they had to know. Let's look at another Archie one. But something seems to be happening. Err, grunt. Whoa. Whoa. Something is happening. <laughs> it's called trying to get a sausage into a donut while ripping the hole. Uh, let's move on to Flash. Even Flash is being a dirty guy here. How about this? I feel I want to eat nuts. Hundreds of nuts. But he needs to go to Gay City with Superman. Let's move on to the Joker. Even the Joker? So they'll laugh at my boner, will they? I'll show them. I'll show them how many boners the Joker can make. How many boners? Well, he is hanging out with Harley Quinn. He probably has a lot of boners when he hangs out with that, that fox. Uh, let's move on here. Robin's at it again. There's Batman, and I've landed the plane the way he wanted. Now, I'm... Now I'm to stay here and expose myself. Robin, don't expose yourself. I know you wear your underwear on the outside of your clothes, but please don't expose your little nuggets. Let's move on. Oh, how about this one? With my power ring, I'm super powerless. Oh, that's sad. He doesn't have any powers except from the waist down. Got some good powers down there. Kind of reminds me of me, you know, because, uh, I'm white, but I'm black from the waist down. Let's move on to another here. It's a special frog. It's 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 my boyfriend, Henry. I've heard a lot of strange things being boyfriends. I saw a video once on the internet about a dog that was a boyfriend. I've seen a hairbrush be a boyfriend, but I've never seen a frog be a boyfriend. And what do the frogs do to her eyes? That doesn't look like tears to me. Well, let's head over to Superman. Look, Batwoman, those bandits are trying to destroy Superman with the vibrator. <sighs> hmm. Superman, you don't need a vibrator. You got you got light and speed. You can just... Ah, I don't know why you need a vibrator. Let's move on. 
another Archie comic here. Just one of those bad breaks, babe. You can't win them all. Thanks, Dad. I needed that. What did Dad do? Look at her. She's got something spewed all over her face. I don't want to know what's going down in Riverdale. Let's look at this one right here. I never thought I would enjoy beating up a crippled, but today, beating up a crippled. <laughs> That's fun no matter the reason. I don't know what the context is, but it's always fun to beat up a cripple. Let's move on. Marvin, what's this horrible sticky stuff in my mouth? <sighs> we know. We know what it is. Let's move on. Right, if I get tired of dick, which I won't. Well, there's the girl that's on it. She's not gonna ever get tired of dick. She loves dick. She loves to hold dick. She loves to squeeze dick. She's got dick on her mind all the time. What a lucky dick. Let's move on to another one here. Hey, man, what? Fisto, my friend, are you all right? Here, let me help you to your feet. I fist hard, he man, but I can't fist them all. <laughs> hey, we all been there. I went to a party one time in Tupelo, Mississippi, and I know how you feel right there, Fisto, because you can't fist them all. How about this one right here? Just poof! I think I know what happened. Happened to me just like that when I was 12, and I saw the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders on the Donnie and Marie show. Oh, how about this one? Another Archie one. How does it feel to be on the, on the receiving end, Buster? Got him all tied up. Got him gagged. They fit and give him a bologna sandwich. Okay, how about this one right here? This telephone pole is my only hope. What's he doing with that telephone pole? Where's he gonna stick it? I don't wanna know. How about this one right here? Man, the Archies are really dirty. Come on, Fred, just one, please. He's trying to get a bull to... Nay, he's trying to get a bull to... Man, it's one thing to try to do it through the bull, but to get the bull to do it to you... Hmm, let's move on here. Quick, get him undressed. Wish I could have handled this job without Jason tagging along. I don't know who they're trying to undress, but Batman wants to go at it alone. He doesn't want Jason involved with his little baby peeny. Uh, how about this one right here? Hey, let him down. What you doing? Captain America's grabbing some good old 100% American ass. Look at him. Come on, Captain America. How about this one to Ant-Man? Now, thanks to you, we've captured him. And what does Ant-Man say? Now, and if you remove his outer clothing, you'll be in quite a surprise. I wonder what the surprise is. Is it a big one, or does it not have one at all? I'm not really sure. Let's move on to this one right here. This is the last one. Hooray! I'm getting big again! I know how you feel, kid. That's how I felt after I saw the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders and then I saw Marie Osmond. Whew. Them Osmonds. Whew. I, think I, I think I've pleasured myself to every Osmond known to man. Well, not that one Osmond. <laughs> That's it. That's a look at 25 inappropriate comic book titles. Hopefully you like this video. We'll look at more because I found a lot more, but I didn't want to do 100 of them, so we did 25 of them. And if you got any you know about, let me know. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.